Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Lil Romeo. Right now, we're chilling in Orlando. I'm going to big with my homeboy, Mike Jones. Oh, yeah. Right here. Go nowhere. Where y'all going? Keep it locked to word on the street. If you ain't flying, you ain't flying. You heard me? Birdman one. Yeah, what's going on, man? It's the number one get it boy, Chingaling. You understand what I'm saying? The hood store himself, if you ain't gotta get it. And right now, your boy watching Word on the Streets, the TV show. You know what it is. And Word on the Streets is I'm a hood store church. Y'all know what the bubble is. Your boy, do the great weapon. Y'all right here on the UTV bus. My dog, Hollywood, this entertainment. Y'all know how we do it, man. Y'all keep it locked. Floor is on. What? I can't look at you like that, but you know. Peace out to the streets. You already know it's the word on the streets, baby. Let's get popping. Yo, with the. Yeah, this your boy Chris Brown right here. VA's finest two up, two down. You already know what it is. And right now, y'all watching Word on the Street TV, all right? Here, yeah, why is barbecue set? This here is what I do. I've been doing this here for 10 years, y'all, right here in the Popka area. South of Parker. I'm located right here at 1315 Marvin C. Zanders. Me and my sons, we're very dedicated on what we do here. We've been cooking barbecue here for almost a decade now, almost 10 years. And we've got some of the best quality meat in town. And for this to show you that we're not talking, this is an example of what I do. Open that grill up for me, son. This is how I have tender ribs falling off the grill. A real tender and juicy. I got some of the best ribs in town. I got a special rub that I put on there. It's a family secret. And only me and my family know it. And come down to Wallace Barbecue Shack at 1315 Marvin C. Zanders, South of Parker. Yo, this is Chris Thomas. Y'all keep it locked on to Word on the Street, all right? Yo, yo, what it do, what it do, that's right, hey, Mr. Gregory Turner's in the building, and it's exciting, man, it's exciting tonight, man, I got a great show for y'all tonight, man, it's going down right here on WODS, that's right, make sure y'all locked in, that's right, share, share, it. right now, share, it. you know, that's mainly what we want you to do, share, it, like it, subscribe it, you know, WODS, that's right, you know what I'm saying, follow us, man, follow us. Been on the app doing our thing for going on two years. That's right. And if you would like to come in on some of the things that I'm talking about and just feel free to want to just be my friend, call the number on the bottom of the string and, and, and we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about some of the problems that's upsetting you. That's right. 407 459 2641. 407 459 2641. Hey, man. We already at that time, man. We're getting close to the end of the year, man. We're in September. You know what I'm saying? We're getting close to the end of the year. And that's right, man. Make sure you, you know, with all that's going on, make sure you try to have a monthly, a monthly family gathering, a monthly fa family gathering, because that's what it's all about right now. Because we can't space them out into two years and three years because you come back to the family reunion, you done lost a whole lot of people. So, you know, we got to start sharing it. We got to start really hugging on loving each other. So that's what we really looking forward to do and um in the closing out this year. So y'all make sure y'all, you know, lock in and follow what we doing. Anyway, we're getting ready for the birthday bash, for my birthday bash, getting ready to come up. That's right november that's right november we like to get prepared early we like to talk about it early we like to jump on it early and we like to show you what's going down that weekend that's right the first week of november y'all know i do my birthday and it'd be phenomenal it'd be phenomenal that's right so share right now share 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 anyway let me show y'all that flyer you know what i'm saying JT Money, that's right. First time ever. JT Money, live in concert. You know what I'm saying? The OG GOAT of Orlando, myself, G Money, along with JT Money performing live right there at the 
Amvet. That's right. Amvet post 30. It's going down. Hey, man. One thing I can tell you, man, get there early, man, because like I said, y'all know the place is small, so it's going to be a phenomenal move. It's going to be stupid. So you need to make sure you get there early. That's all I can tell you, man. That's all I can tell you. Early bird, get the worm. Get there late. Might be a big price difference, and it might not be great. <laughs> anyway, y'all know what I mean, man, so y'all understand what I'm talking about. Hey, man, the show is going to be all awesome tonight. We got a few things that we're going to kind of enlighten you on. We're going to kind of show also the uh, reality piece that we was trying to show you last week that we wasn't able to show. So we're going to show that piece and then, you, you know, just show y'all what we got in the pot just brewing right now. We're brewing right now. We Y'all know what brewing means. We're stirring up. We're stirring up some stuff. We're stirring up some stuff. For it to be uh, awesome, that's right. An awesome closeout. Also, classic is coming up. That's right. Classic is coming up. And hey, man, we got some brewing around classic time as well. So, shout out to all my cigar smokers out there. You know what I'm saying? To smoke cigars. You know what I'm saying? And have a cocktail. We got some for you. That's right. The uh, also our sister station uh cocktails and cigars each and every monday at seven o'clock that's right cocktails and cigars on each and every monday that goes down that's going to be exciting you know what i'm saying we're going to lay around for that because that's hosted by my man g bunny doc holiday you know what i'm saying along with my homeboy check in my homeboy bryce and m larry they are also the uh hosts of the show it's a great show man you got to check that out on monday a little bit more re relaxed they're having a cocktail each and every monday that podcast is, is is going on right now you can jump on there and you can you can subscribe also the t-shirts they got t-shirts that's right t-shirts it's live man it's all it's off the chain man let me show y'all some of the people that support it What's up? It's your boy Jay Shin. And when I'm chilling, y'all already know I'm locked in with cocktails and cigars. And y'all already know I'm kicking it with my homie, G Money, and Doc Holiday. Y'all keep it locked. Peace. Hi, my name is You're watching <laughs> Cocktails and Cigars by Doc Holiday and G Money. Throw <laughs> baby. This your girl, Sexy T, better known as Lady T. I'm here watching cocktails and cigars with my brother, Doc Holiday and G Money. I'm with my girl, Sheila Popeye. Don't lose me. We are representing tonight, 7 p.m. Make sure you tune in. Hey, what's up, man? It's your boy, Pop. Melissa. And we be chilling with G Money. And Doc Holiday. On cocktails and cigars. Check them out. But make sure you don't forget about the Pop Melissa show. Every Monday. At 8 o'clock. We bringing the relationship to you. Joe with Doc Holiday and G Money smoking cigars. And cocktails. Okay, then this is Cocktail Cigars. This is your boy Cat Daddy. You better tune in. We live. <laughs> in Orlando, fuck nigga. Who is y'all? You better tune in to Cat Daddy. Is on cocktails and cigar. I know you hate to see me shine, see me grind, but I'ma get it cause it's mine, yeah. yeah. I know you wanna see me down, see me crying, but you hate to know I'm fine, yeah. No, don't be coming. Oh, uh, no. Okay, okay, we back. We back. That's right, cocktails and cigar. Like I said, they moved from Sunday to Monday, right before the game, right before the game. They come on live right before the game. You got to check that at Cocktails and Cigars. That's awesome, awesome show. Billing, man, they've been on about seven months in the game. And, you know, like I said, they are our sister station because it's backed up by word on the street, W-O-D-S. That's right, W-O-D-S. We in the game, man. We out here having fun. Like I said, call in, man. Call in. Let me, let me hear some of your comments. That's right. Let me hear some of your comments. Call in. Let me know what's going down. 
W-O-D-S, word on the street. We are in the building. Like I told you, we are going to show you, man. We're going to show you that piece that, that you've been waiting for. We're going to show it to you. It's going down tonight. That's right. It's going down. It's going to be exciting, man. The hour of power. We call this the power hour. That's right, the power hour. Anyway, got a couple bills, man. We're going to pay. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. All right? Hey, Ratchets, look! I'm you! <laughs> Jake from State Farm. You couldn't find a standing that looked anything like me? Have you seen mine? It's like looking in a mirror, right? Now, that one makes sense. Look, guys, I don't even have a stand-in. Of course you do. Hold on. Is that Drake? That's right. Drake from State Farm. Like, like a, a good, good neighbor. neighbor. Like, like a, a good, good neighbor. neighbor. Hey, Stand-ins don't have lines. Oh, okay. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. State Farm is there. That's right. They're there for you, man. Like I said, you need to make sure you got some insurance right now because, you know, COVID going down, the new virus going down. You need to make sure you got some insurance so you will be put away properly. That's right. And also on the vaccination to each his own. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you do the right thing. Put it in God's hands. Make a good prayer upstairs and make sure that's what you want to do. That's right. That's what you want to do. Also, like I told you, um, kind of showed y'all. Like if you haven't seen it, man, you need to go and watch it. Um the movie, The Barbers and the Stylists of Orlando. It's about an hour and 26 minutes on YouTube. The Barbers and the Stylists of Orlando. Made by my homeboy that got killed in the barber shop. My homeboy Big B. So, like I said, hey man, you want to get down with it? Go and check it out, man. We'll give y'all a little clip of that as well, man. Give y'all a peep, you know, so you can know what you're looking for. Go on YouTube, Barbers and Stylists of Orlando. That's right. That's the movie. Movie written and directed by myself. That's right. Myself. But feel free to call in as well and um chit chat with me. Call in. Don't be scared. All right. All right. Let me show you all this. We go shine. Huh? Welcome to the Donnerful Film Show. Today we have a hot guest. I mean, he is an entrepreneur. He's founded Word on the Street magazine. He's a hot promoter here in Orlando. He's done interviews with names that you know of people all over the world. You know what? I can show you better than I can tell you. Let's cut to a clip. This is the man. I'm talking about he's the king of hip-hop. It's Russell Simmons. It gets no bigger than this. I'm talking about, really? This man by eight times. Eight times with me. And he's bigger than life. It's Russell Simmons. How you doing, Russell? I'm good. How you doing? I mean, it's a good look for the hood, man. You know what I'm saying? To be able to come from the hood thugging and to be able to go to Nickelodeon, man, and swap it up on him and get that money. I mean, so don't be afraid, man, to make change. That's what I'm saying. You hear it from Master P. I'm talking about he doing it. Three times bigger than me, because it ain't about me. But hey, Pete, oh, we appreciate the welcome interview. To, welcome to the Donnerful Film hey, Show. Welcome to you. Listen, you have done, had your hands in a little bit of everything. Music, promoter, magazines, TV shows. I mean, successful. Right. Tell us a little bit about, about how G-Money came to be G-Money. Well, you know, I'm nothing without God. So, you know, I mean, I owe it all to God. And like I said, hey, man, I, I got a lot of wisdom from one of my guys, my man, Big B. You mean uh, Brian, Big B Berry, the barber that tragically... Yeah, yeah, yeah we ain't gonna talk about that. I, if I, if I'm gonna give it to y'all, y'all might as well start from the beginning. In the beginning, as friends. Me and my friend, we played oh, together, laughed together. We even had big shine. dreams together. What? even pushed and shoved each other as friends. But who would know where the friendship will go? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
fuck up, man. Whoa, whoa, what y'all doing? Oh, y'all not just, y'all not, y'all not brothers, y'all buddies, what, what, what's up? Huh? Y'all, what y'all, y'all don't want to be fighters all. What y'all gonna do for us? What you want to do for the rest of your life? What you want to do? I'm going to be the world's greatest rocker and the world's greatest hustler. Okay. All right. I mean, that's that's a pretty good thing. So, what do you want to do? Yeah, I want to be a football player. I'm thinking about being a barber. Man, barbers don't make no money. Man, hustlers don't make no money. Yeah, just to give you a sneak preview of what's going down. That's right. That's right. Go on, barbers and stylists of Orlando. You can tune in and watch that movie. Like I said, that was uh, written and produced by myself. Also, man, like I said, hey, it's going down. Don't forget about next week. Party going down. I'm going to let y'all know about that shortly. I'm going to let y'all know about that shortly. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all them DJs out there, you know what I'm saying, doing their things. And uh, RIP to anyone that's lost someone due to the COVID or due to just death. R.I.P. to them, man. You know what I'm saying? We send our condolences out. We want to make sure, you know what I'm saying, we support them and send our condolences. A lot going on in the world. I mean, a lot going on, period. But, like I said, you just got to stay masked up, stay prayed up. That's what it's all about. Stay prayed up. And uh, keep your head up, man. Keep your head up, you know, and let us know. Also, this other story that we was following about the um, the lady that got killed. That's right. The woman that that got killed, her and a boyfriend, um, you know, they was, she, they was missing for a little bit. And then all of a sudden, he comes in and she's not with him. And um, after that, they found her, her body. When they, now they found her body. They questioned him before they found the body, and he told he immediately told him to get with his attorney. Hold on, we got a call coming in. You know what I'm saying? WODS, who we got on the line? Who we got on the line? What's going on? What's going on, baby? Oh, it's man. Fuck boys. We in the building. This sounds like DOC in the building. <laughs> DOC, Doc. What's going on, man? What's going, what's going on? We going just. On, man? I, want, I want to shout you out, man. Appreciate you doing what you're doing for the community, man. Keep it up, man. Okay. Keep it up. Hey, man. You guys yes, doing sir. a great job on Mondays, man. You guys doing a great job on Mondays. The cocktails and cigars. We, we watching the brand real closely. Because the brand is developing into a full-grown rock waller. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Yep. We appreciate that. We appreciate that, man. You and your boy yeah, G I just Money, want to right? Call in, man, and shout, shout you out. Okay. Oh, G Money, G Money, say, say that. You know, he, 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 he gonna take the, take that, uh, take the uh, high road, man, and. Okay. And, and let and let y'all do what y'all do over there on on WODS, man. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He did come in and, and let us know that he was going to be, you know, he's going to be leaving us, going over there to, you know, because he wasn't getting a whole lot of airtime over here. So he just went ahead and said he was going to do his <laughs> thing with cocktails and cigars. That's That that was the thing that he said. He said, hey, man, I'm going to do my own thing with cocktails and cigars. And, um, you know, he, he said the brand is, he said the brand is good getting there. The brand is getting there. You know oh yeah, saying? oh yeah. Well, we're doing some exciting things, man. And we just want to thank all the viewers. We appreciate all the viewers. Without the viewers, we couldn't do it. So, uh, hey, man, we we still work. We still got a long way to go. Long way to go, so, man. Yeah. But right now, man, it's about WODS, man. Y'all keep doing what you're doing, and I, right, man, hopefully soon, man, we'll be on it. What was what's what's the topic tonight? What's what's going on tonight? Well, we're just trying to make sure a lot of the. The families, man, you know, like I said, come together more or less on once a month. You know what I'm saying? Because due to the tragedies that's, that's going down, you know, family reunions used to be every two years and that type of oh, stuff. Yeah. We, we're trying to really yeah. get people to come together more or less once a month. Or, you know what I'm saying? If they could, if everybody's in town, you know, you almost need to do it every once a week because I yeah, mean, right definitely. now, it's a lot of you know you come back two years 
later the whole family could be you know gone i mean so yeah we, definitely man definitely right so we, yeah, we definitely got to got to show that love man while while the folks are still here man yeah yeah that, that's that's so, what we kind of pushing we pushing for a lot of you know a lot of uh positive families to really get together and hug up on their loved ones and and really you know tell them that they love them and uh the whole nine yards man because it's you know it's life is too short right now doc i mean it's yes life sir is too short here hey, today man, well, uh, gone tomorrow yeah that's right man get everybody your flowers while they living man yeah, but yeah. hey i ain't gonna take up too much of your time hey man I we think enjoy I see you. g money beeping in g money beeping on my line so you okay. probably want to talk about some stuff for uh monday let me see what's going okay, on okay tell him mr gregory turner say what's up all right mr turner <laughs> hey man y'all keep it in the streets man word on the street yes we will okay hey man y'all my dog doc holiday just checked in you know what i'm saying he checked in to see what's going on hey man like i said share it share it if you would like to call in and just give me your comments on on what we talking about as far as um families coming together and being together also um like i said we was talking about the uh, situation with um the guy when they went to question him he told them to go and talk to their talk to his attorney now he was you know he was out that long and then now once they found the body when they went back to the family um to, to uh question him he was gone you know what i'm saying so like i said hey man we're gonna keep an eye on that and see what's going on on update you on that and see you know a follow-up on that as well and to find out what's the outcome of that because we know we wouldn't have had we wouldn't have had no time to really run or anything like that because you know we just wouldn't have had the time i mean because like i said we are we, we are living in a different time right now we're li living in a different stage so we got to you know we got to know basically our surroundings we got to know our surroundings let me show you all this always trust everyone to be themselves but trust in the fact you can see them well i mean so it's like you know trust trust, trust. it takes too much energy to not trust someone i mean Takes too much energy. You only gotta say two steps ahead of him or whatever. Right. But uh, trust him to be them. All right. To be themselves. Trust the snake to right. bite you. Right. Trust the lie to laugh. Trust right. the deep to steal from you. Like trust him to be them. Too. But right. know them when you see them. Right. Oh yeah, know them when you see them, man. That's just true. Know them when you see them. That's what it's all about, man. Like I say, it's it's too much going on, man. A lot of stuff going on, man. Like I said, um birthday bash coming up that's gonna be big man big move man i do something for at least three days out the week for that birthday the first week of november write that down on your calendar the first week of november the birthday gonna be stupid we're gonna have a birthday dinner and uh we gonna have jt money performing live right there at the anvet post on uh november the 6th so y'all got to make sure you stay tuned to that and you know i'm gonna get my flowers while i'm living give me my flowers rick ross yo what it does this your boy ricky ross and i want to send a big happy anniversary to word on the streets it's legendary help artists like me grind in the south help getting them that extra exposure. So shout out to my homie G. Word on the streets, keep it true. Rick Ross, debut album, Port of Miami. You already know, go get that. Yeah. Okay, I appreciate it, Ross. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate the flowers while I'm living. That's right. I appreciate the flowers while I'm living. Anyway, man, like I said, call in if you would like to come in on what's going on. The number is 407 459 2641. 407 459 2641. 
Y'all notice I might repeat that number. I, I'm trying to, you know, work on my things as well as for as me repeating things, you know, but the, me repeating the number is not, it's not nothing wrong with that. Some of those, you know, that watch me closely and say, hey, man, you be repeating yourself, you know. Yes, I, I have to repeat the number, but I shouldn't repeat other things over and over. But, <laughs> hey, man, this is only on word on the street, man. W-O-D-S, man. Only where you, only where you get it like this. Been doing it so long in the game, man. So, hey, man, this is what it's all about, man. It's number happiness, number fun, number positivity, and we keeping it right here for you. Another clip I'm going to show you. Let's go to it. I hate who I love. Blessed with the curse. I was born to die. Best of the worst. Wings but can't fly. First things first. I will until I'm stretched in a hearse. Niggas don't get me, but I ain't complicated. See, thing about the truth is most people hate it. Didn't ask God for what I wanted. I waited until he felt like I earned it and he gave it. Anything worth having is worth earning. The true nature of man is definitely worth learning. That's why you're concerning yourself with discerning whether it's worth saving is usually worth burning. I knew from the start that this life wasn't mine. That's why from the start I put my life on the line. Gangsters run around crying about dying. I got faith. I'm going to go when it's my time. Oh, man, boy. You know what I'm saying? Nobody says it better. R.I.H. my man DMX. That's right. R.I.H. my man DMX. Hey man, but I um I want to show y'all another little clip, man, that uh I seen and you know the social media is crazy, man. Y'all check this out, man. Oh, <laughs> just in case you didn't get it, the old man was standing up there, dude just sitting on the bench, and he whipped out, you know what I'm saying, well, his walking stick, you know, <laughs> and dude thought he had a gun, man, he took off running, man, almost fell on the ground. Let's see that one more time, man, let's see this. Uh... <laughs> Anyway, I can say, hey, man, I'm just, I got to mess with y'all, man. It's, it was just funny to me, you know what I'm saying? Might have been corny, but anyway, like I said, man, know your surroundings. Know your surroundings, man. Know your surroundings. And when you guys are going out here to these clubs, man, hey, man, y'all know your surroundings, man. Know your surroundings. Try not to drink too much and get intoxicated. I mean, fully drunk. I mean, because you have to know, you have to get home. Well, you know, if you drive with someone, make sure that that person takes you, you know, back home safely because know your surroundings. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, man, like I told you, man, we got that piece that um, we was trying to get on last week and we couldn't get it on. But like I said, we are brewing some stuff in the pot some things getting ready to come to you that's going to be real exciting that's for the 2022 so we we are brewing we we cooking it just don't look like we're cooking some of y'all say i ain't seen you on the scene you know um like that okay yeah no you might have not but we are brewing some stuff in the kitchen we still cooking what we cooking and we're gonna you know bring it out to you slowly but surely anyway let's peep this clip here my you know let's let's just peep the clip y'all ready for it all right let's go hustler in this house every week orlando's top event promoters battle each other for a share of this billion dollar party orlando florida one of the hottest travel destinations in the world but the mouse isn't the only hustler in this house. Every week, Orlando's top event promoters battle each other for a share of this billion-dollar party scene. Who the fuck am I? 
dog man, baby. I'm Pat Nix. I mean, I'm known throughout the country, let alone Orlando. I'm Tony Koo. I'm the top in the game. Dude, I'm G-Money. I'm G-Money. I'm Cali Boy. I bring the bitches out. It's a world filled with conflict and chaos. Man, this business is just like the streets. You know what I'm saying? It's just like the streets. It's grimy as fuck. This business is cutthroat. It's worse than the drug game. These other niggas is just my backup singers. A world where fortunes and lives can be won or lost in a night. In this game, it's all about who's got the hustle to pull off the show. I know we're going to win because my team don't play. Three-level club in the heart of downtown in the high rise. Easy. I'm moving up like the Joneses. My play is being smarter. Promoting way bigger than the concert. It's showtime. Club 578. G-Money arrives in his signature slingshot to find a line forming around the block. Gucci man to bring him in, but dealing with the crowd, you got to be looking for guns, everything. You don't know what they might bring in. We getting ready to open up the doors in like five minutes. Y'all ready? Y'all good? At the Majestic Nightclub, as the doors open, Dogman puts the finishing touches on the VIP section, and the problems begin with a counterfeit ticket. This shit ain't real, bro. Motherfuckers will bootleg your ticket. If it's one of our tickets, you know, we give him a refund. But he was acting ass. He wanted his money, but he came at us wrong. At the end of the day, it was time for him to slide. And they slid him. At Latitudes in downtown Orlando, Cali. Okay, hey, man. <laughs> Just showing y'all the sneak preview, man. Like I said, we got Mo, man. I'm going to show you Mo, man. It's going down. It's exciting. Y'all see what's going down, man. Hey, man, that's a signature uh, signature piece, man. That's a signature piece. We got more to show you. Don't go nowhere, man. We got some more to show you. I'm going to take a quick break. We're going to go into two, and we're going to go right into it, man. Keep showing y'all. Keep watching, man. It's, it's exciting. It's exciting. It gets gooder. I mean, it gets better than that. <laughs> it gets better than that. Like I said, I'm going to show y'all the the sneak previews and show y'all what's going down. But hey, man, y'all got to keep it locked. Okay. Tiptoeing around it and it's not, it's sounding good. So I'm going to stay on it. Okay. Um, but the play is, I'm sorry. We got the, that's who that is. We're doing the Granddad of South and Friends project. This year. Uh, Hey Chris, Chris, Chris. We can we can we can hear you. Everybody hates Chris. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So please. No, I'm just, hey, I'm just showing somebody. I'm like, that's the granddaddy south, not just some nigga that calling himself granddaddy south. Okay. Right. But yeah. But you, See, you, but his beard was bigger before. Man, y'all go ahead, man. Don't they, they ignore me. You, Shit, I I'm i i mute myself. Right. Because you know how okay. cold it is backstage. <laughs> 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 hey, granddaddy, it's cold back there, ain't it? <laughs> but anyway. oh, man. But stop. Go ahead and get into what you got going on. <clears throat> Let us hear what you got going yeah. on. Yeah, so like I said, we got the granddaddy of South Korea's project. I'm dropping, um, you know, I'm dropping a street project right now called uh, Head of Household. Head of Household is like, because now I'm so thankful that we got so many artists coming out of Orlando. I wish I'd have had this help back then when I was coming up. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have a lot of the outlets, the, the artists that are not there. We got artists coming everywhere out there. Mm. But, but being the OG, I got to see head of household. You're like, you know, when you do your taxes, you claim head of household. Right. I still yes, head of household regardless of what's going on right now. You know. Oh, you mean, oh, you mean like when you can smoke inside? <laughs> But anyway, Granddaddy, uh, Disco let me hear a record of yours, man, and uh, it, it was popping, man. I mean, I mean, like I said, that it, I mean, he lately. Hey, man, just showing y'all clips of what's going on, man. That's the clips of the podcast, man. When they first started, the boys them branched off into a whole nother, whole nother three dimensional. They looking great now. They looking a lot more, but that's that's. Doing the beginning stages of the um of the podcast. They had my man Granddaddy South on there. 
um you know my man everybody hates chris which you know he's another person that ain't showed up for work and you know he's like more money you know what i'm saying they they m-i-a with the shits <laughs> they with the shits but hey man we don't we just like a damn train man the train don't stop the train just keeps on rolling man and if we have to roll right over you we roll right over you but anyway um what time okay we still got time man we're gonna get you into that um into that second piece of the reality just showing you what time it is y'all check it out man it's like a movie it's like a movie check it out at latitudes in downtown orlando cali boys on ratchet patrol first thing i hear is some ratchet ass bitch on the mic Yo, well, nobody on the mic. Get this shit out of here. I'm not in my club. Yo, I need you to tell them that they can't be putting these wretched ass bitches on their mic. I don't know why they are in here. What the fuck you got on? I got wretched ass bitches with flip flops, braids, and raccoons on. We gotta keep the trash at the door. Please get on your job. Don't lose your job tonight. At Club Guilt, Tony Koo and Pat Nix have got their crowd. They just can't find their artist. Lines around the corner. We about to be sold out. So we can't even get in touch with Black Young Son. We've been calling them left and right. While Tony and Pat face financial disaster, Black Youngster is 40,000 feet over Louisiana, and there's nothing they can do but hope he shows up. With the party in full swing at Club 578, G-Money dips out on a secret mission that he hopes will help him win the classic weekend money count. I got a whole nother hustle. Private parking tonight. Yeah, we got a concert. I pulled a permit on the parking lot across the street from Dog Man's venue, meaning his crowd is going to have to pay me. Slick move. So I get a test, and they tell me it's the dude across the street parking cars. I'm like, man, that's my shit. I'm about not supposed to be over there. Here comes Dog Man. I'm pretty sure he's not happy about me taking his parking. I got to move this shit, man. G, you know better. Yeah, but D, 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 nigga hustling. You know that. In the end, Tall Man has to respect the hustle. Y'all, y'all call the police on us. Police. The shit got a little heated, but at the end of the day, a hustle is a hustle. So I gave him a pass. At latitudes. Okay, hey man. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. It's going to be Mo. That's right. Mo, we got to put more of it to keep watching the movie, man. Like I said, we got Mo. It's exciting. And uh, we're going we're gonna to get you right on into it, man. Feel free to call in on that number, 407-459-2641. You would like to come in on the show. You would like to come in on what we got going on. Feel free to call right now, 407-459-2641. Oh seven four five nine twenty six forty one. Okay, I'll take y'all to a quick commercial break. Okay. I, word on the streets, dog. Fat red, I fuck with y'all, man. Y'all keep everything good over there. I'ma be the fuck with you in a minute, dog. One hundred. Hey, it's your boy Big Tick BT in the building. You checking out Word on the Street? You understand me? And the Word on the Street is if you ain't watching this, you bet to be watching me. Okay, KK, this your boy Lil Scrap and G's up. Get your T's up. Hey, and the BMB hey, click. What up, this your man T Mac, straight out of Polk County. We do it real big down here. And you listen to Word on the Street, straight from the man. Chill. What's up, Orlando? This is your boy Marvin Dixon, the commissioner of comedy. That's right, I'm in the politics of the game. The commissioner of comedy, Miami Zone. We'll be right back, right here on Words of the Street. Make sure y'all check it out. Don't go nowhere, because I'll be here. Okay, we back. We back at it, man. We got the third scene we're going to show you. That's right. We got the third scene, scene I'm going to show you. Don't forget about the birthday bash going down. That's right. The birthday bash going down right there at the Post and Bet. JT Money live in concert. That's right. The first time ever at, you know, the uh, Post and Bet. They've never done a concert at the Post and Bet. This will be the first time ever. Birthday bash. Me, myself, the GOAT of Orlando. That's right, the GOAT of Orlando, November the 6th. November the 6th is going to be stupid. So y'all make sure y'all check that out. Also, my girl, like I said, Cindy had a nice party right there uh, at the Elks Night Club. That was uh, last week. 
I mean, that was phenomenal. A sadness party that was, uh, that was, I mean, straight up, it was off the chain, man. No suckers was allowed. No suckers was allowed. And I mean, it, 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 it was nice, real nice. So, hey, man, like I said, y'all live around for the birthday bash. Put that on the calendar so you won't be stuck outside. Please put that on the calendar so you won't be stuck outside. Anybody else heard anything from my man right here, man? Anybody heard anything from Bill, man? I mean, wow. Anybody heard? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Give me the update on Mr. Cosby, man. I mean, you know, he's out. He's free. Anybody heard any other words on Bill Cosby? Please feel free to give us a call and let us know. I need that number. 407-459-2641. 407-459-2641. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Also, my man Doc did call Lynn. He called in and let us know what time it was with the podcast that they doing on Monday, Cocktails and Cigars. And um, this was the last thing I heard from G Money. I ain't seen him since. Let's peep this piece. Hey, hey, it's your boy G Money, man. Hey, man, hey, big shout out to Mo Money. I see you, boy, you looking good with that hat. Hey, big shout out to Mr. Gregory Turner. Big shout out to you, Erica. Hey, man, it's been a great season. You guys have been doing great, man. But, hey, man, I got to tell you, man, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to branch off from you guys. I'm going to do my own thing, man. I'm going to do my own thing because I'm not getting enough airtime. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, and, and I am going to use Dean Post Effects. I'm going to use him, uh, Mr. Greg Returner. I'm going to use him, and we're going to kick off a whole new show. Like I said, it's going to be called Cocktails and cigars, cocktails and cigars. I'm talking about, we're going to kick it off this Sunday. That's right, this Sunday. It's going to be off the chain, man. It's going to be off the chain. Also, it's going to be hosted by my man, Doc Holiday. Doc Holiday. We might even have people show up, like Pimp Vegas might even show up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, it's going to be beautiful, man, but we're going to be relaxed, man, and we're going to be doing our thing, man. So, hey, man, it's been a great run. I'm just going to do my own thing, Mr. Gregory Turner, man. Mr. G Money, I'm going to sign out, man. Hey, y'all do y'all thing, man, and lay Ryan for it this Sunday. Five o'clock. That's right. Five o'clock this Sunday. We're going to do it every other Sunday. It's going to be nice, man. Hey, Mr. Greg Turner, please, please don't hate on me, man. Let me do my thing, man. Shout out to you, more Money. Shout out to Erica. Y'all keep doing y'all thing, but I'm going to go ahead and do my own thing. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace. <laughs>
Hey man, I'm saying if you got a great clip, man, with you trying to do that great challenge, man, send it in to us, man. And hey, man, we can add that to the uh to the fall list. We can add that to the fall list. That's right. If you got one that you think you you did, like I said, y'all let me know for it. It said from what I'm hearing that G Money might try to do the crate challenge. We're gonna have to peep that, man, because that's gonna be exciting. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be exciting. What if he makes it? <laughs> what if he falls? Will we add it? Yes, we will. <laughs> we will add it, man. But anyway, show y'all that third piece, man, that third piece of the movie, of the movie, of the reality show, that reality show. Peep this, man. Y'all stay with us, man. Check this out. At Latitudes, these plastic cups gotta go. So I get to the bar, this is a fucking mess. Move this shit off of there, get this ice over here, make sure it's clean. This shit gotta stop. Better late than never, Black Youngsters made it to his Orlando hotel room. So we've been waiting for this guy all this time, and he's at the hotel. Really? You need to be here. Club sold out, and we still got a, like a line around the corner, and it's 115, and y'all not even here yet. And now he wants us to go to the fucking hotel to give him his money, and we don't have time. They want us to get the money at the club. I ain't doing the show. They suck my dick in there. I don't know. <laughs> if he doesn't show up, the fans who paid to see him, they're going to go crazy. And they're going to blame it on Tony. And it's not going to be good for them. At Majestic, Dogman's in the home stretch. But as the headliners get ready to take the stage, the fire marshal crashes the party based on an anonymous tip from a rival promoter. Next thing I fucking see at the fire marshal. That's like kryptonite does. They want to shut me down saying we had too many people. I said, you go tell them 3,000 people they got to leave and see what's going to happen. To salvage the night, Dogman closes the doors and the show goes on. At Club Guilt, Tony gets the call he's been waiting for. Oh, yeah. Finally, I see the sprinter. Oh, I see you. Thank God. Less than 30 minutes before the club closes, Black Youngster makes it to the venue. I was just going to go up. He showed me his phone that he was about to post some shit about us, but thank God he came through. Once his money's straight, it's on to the show. Hey, we make this look easy, man. Come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. They better keep up. The shows are over. The only thing left is the only thing that matters. It's time to count the money. In the end, Dogman wins this year's classic with a staggering one-night profit of $187,000. But in this game, it's not whether you win or lose. It's whether you've got the hustle to pull off the show. That's right. Well, you've got the hustle to pull off the show. So anyway, lay around for it, man. Lay around for it. That's all I can tell you. Lay around for it's gonna be exciting, real exciting. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta check that whole piece out, man, because I do some crazy stuff. I do some crazy stuff. I ain't even gonna reveal the other stuff. I do some crazy stuff. I am uh hilarious. I am. But anyway. Moving right along, like I said, man, the show has been great, man. Y'all have been great with me. I'll take y'all to a quick commercial break. We're going to come back. I got more. Yeah, I'm married. Doesn't matter. You do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Uh, it's Jake from State Farm. Sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's, it's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis? Hey, do they ever ask you what you're wearing? Uh, yeah. 
Red sweater, button-down shirt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Okay. Anyway, like I said, I told you, man, you got to at least let you know by the vaccination, man. Okay, just giving you an update. I'm giving you an update on the vaccine, man. That's what it is. That's what it is, man. Got to keep you um, updated on that. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, it's real. It's real out here, man. Also, follow us, share us, like us, subscribe us. That's right. Um, you know, go to the thing. If you would like to comment on what we got going on, like I said, our email. Email us. Get at us, man. Like I said, get at us if you would like to be a part of what we got going on. W O D S word on the street. We've been doing it right here, man, for over going on two years on the podcast. Going on two years. That's right. Going on two years on the podcast is coming up. So we out here without you. There is no me. That's what I always tell you, man. We got to stay together. Like I said earlier, if you kind of just joined us. What we're trying to push for families to um, do more family gatherings once a month. Do more family gatherings once a month. Due to all that's going on, you should do more of family gatherings every month. I see you, my man, Spook. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, he watching. You know what I'm saying? He say, what's up? How you? Hey, man, salute to you, boy. Keep doing your thing out there, man. Keep doing your thing. That's what it's all about, man. Only God, only God can judge us, man. Only God can judge us. Y'all know what it's about. Anyway, like I told you, man, pray a lot more families come together, man, and and do more family outings more frequently. If you could do them every week, do them once a week, man, because it's not like I said earlier. It's not that every two years. Man, you come back, the whole family, you know what I'm saying? Eight, nine members did. So we need to do more of the family functions, a lot more gatherings. And some people, man, in, in this day, in this walk, some people, when we say family, some people have created a whole nother family outside they, their immediate family because some people take in things a little bit different and, you know, guys that you hang with, people that you hang with become your family because they, you know, sometimes your immediate family don't always be, you know, immediate, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? If they, you ask them to come to events and they don't show up and 
They always got something to do. I mean, so some people have a tendency to take to another side of a family, which ain't nothing wrong with that. That's family. So do more outings, whether you love up on your family members and tell them you love them. Do it today, man, because like I said, uh, tomorrow's not promised. People catching the COVID and they dying within three days. They dying within, you know, two days. They dying rapidly. So you have to, you know, we have to have a lot more love in this day and time. We have to, you know what I'm saying? So all that negativity, we ain't got time for it, man. We really don't have time for it, to be honest. We trying to stay as positive as we can. And if you want me to say you won, you won. Oh, well, you know what I'm saying? You won. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm still going to be doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? I've been on doing this WODS, doing this word on the street for many years. God has blessed me. He's protected me. And, you know, I done had my ups and I done had my downs, man. But through it all, I can say, hey, man, I can't do nothing but thank the good man up there. I can't do nothing but thank the good man up there, man, because that's who, who made me hurdle over a lot of obstacles that i've had you know what i'm saying so hey man not that old guy not that old guy anymore <laughs> you know what i'm saying g money is that guy you know what i'm saying this is mr gregory turner but g money might be that guy that have did have, have did a lot more you know not thinking things than myself you know what i'm saying myself i try to I try to keep, you know, keep it positive. I try to try to live a good life. I try to live my best life and try to live a positive life. I try to stay on bended knees. I try to stay prayed up. You know, those are some of the things that that I'm doing to better myself. Now, I don't know what you're doing, but you know what I'm saying, hey man, find your niche, get into it and um like I say, mass up a lot of these places, man whether you've been vaccinated or whether you ain't been vaccinated is, is, is time to mask up. I mean, whether you're going into a, a, a store, whether you're going to a club or whether you're going into a restaurant, mask up, you know what I'm saying? Mask up, man. That's all I could really tell you. Uh, like pray about the shot. Ask God to lead you into the right direction to, to motivate your mind. If you haven't taken it, to take it or not to take it you know what i'm saying i ain't, i ain't like i told you i'm not gonna sit here and tell you to take it i ain't gonna tell you not to take it so that put me right in the middle right in the middle so i've been i've been injected with <laughs> i've been injected with that holy water <laughs> so, so right now i just you know what i'm saying i just i feel good about myself and i feel good on what i'm doing but I'm staying prayed up. Don't forget about the birthday bash that's coming up. My, my birthday, that's right. Birthday bash is going to be right there. Let me show y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. First time ever. You know what I'm saying? JT Money live in concert with the OG, the GOAT of our London, myself. That's right, myself. Right there at the Anvet Post. Anvet Post, November the 6th. Write it down on your calendar, man. Get there early, man. All I can tell you is get there early. You might you might not even get in. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. But get there early. That's all I can tell you, man. That's all I can tell you, man. Get there early. Because it's going to be a movie. That's right, a movie. Also, we lay around for Classic Weekend. Classic Weekend is going to be here, so... You know, if you can, try to attend some of those outdoor events because, like I say, that's the perfect time for you to get hooked up. That's the perfect time for you to, you know what I'm saying, get yourself jammed up and and um, catch that new virus. So be careful. Be careful. Be careful in all the walks that you walk, man, because, hey, man, it's – Keep your head on a swivel. What I told you earlier, keep your head on a swivel. That's why y'all might see my head leaning down sometimes, my head on a swivel. That's right. 
That mother on a swivel. <laughs> anyway, man, it's been a great show, man. And y'all been, you know, we do this the power hour from 7.30 to 8.30, one good hour. And I appreciate y'all for being my guests, man, and hanging out with me and just tuning in to what, what I do. You know what I'm saying? W-O-D-S each and every Wednesday, right here, same time, same place. We live. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we kick it off. We got a whole lot of things we're going to show y'all, man. We got a whole lot of things we're going to show y'all. And uh, I know y'all going to be with me already. So I know you're going to be with me. I ain't got the word about that. You're going to be with me. And uh, we're going to be here for a while, man. We ain't going nowhere because we trust and believe. We believe. That's right. That's right. Y'all. Anyway, man, I got to go, man. It's about that time for the power hour to end. Y'all been a great guest, so make sure you pat yourself on the back and say, I watch WODS live, and it was great. See ya. Anyway, got to get out of here. I'm going to holler at y'all next week, same time, same channel. All right? Peace.